choose to throw items. I, I, I like it when it's not mindless. Like I like it when there's something like a reason behind throwing it out. Yeah. Like I, I like Rob's gyro setups. Like I love seeing those. And same thing with uh, Toon Link's bombs. Bomb setups are super cool. Okay, go for the power driver early on. So unlike a lot of characters, Toon Link does not care about the ground game being interrupted by by Rob's gyro because he's throwing stuff himself on stage. Yes, he also has a great, pretty good Zair as well. He's on yeah. the as well. So he has the, the tools to do a short hop over the gyro and use the Zair to hit Rob. So Toon Link has some things in this matchup. So we'll see uh, who has a better projectile game. Two characters who should be very good with items. I mean, two players, I mean, so. Yeah, it's kind of like a trade-off. You know, like, Rob has that down throw, like, shenanigans, and Link has the bomb into, like, forward air or up air shenanigans. So yeah. they both have kill setups. Yeah. I will say that Rob might have the ledge, uh, the edge because he has a grab that leads into a kill setup. True. But the same token, I Rob better not get above Toon Link's head. Toon Link has a lot of damage characters above him. And Rob uh, definitely sucks when he's over anyone. Yeah, that's true. Uh, a lot of his aerials, uh, landing errors, have a ton of startup. Nair is included in that category. So. Yeah. So you, you'll catch that Toon Link up there with the quickness. Uh, I've really been liking Crazy Kunin's use of uh, bombs. He's been catching them, landing with them. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, oh, you try to catch it there again. Yeah, he's using bombs to force Rob the shield so he can get closer to him so that he can use the close-up boomerang or the Zare. Yeah, or, or even a grab. So. I think that's literally the point of bombs. Just like to condition shields. Yeah, bombs... Yeah, Bob's actually the catch landings and condition shields. I don't feel like it's actually a straight up damage move. No, not at all. He's using it very well so far. The, the yeah. more Rob shields, the less he's throwing out Drado and doing lasers. So, he's doing a good job so far of that. Yeah, Brain hasn't been able to get something started. He might be able to get something here. Ooh, let, try to go for a gyro, uh, gyro frame, frame trap there. Oh, he's missing that up smash. Yeah, he got that air dodge. Doesn't get the, the, the follow up. This is the deep boot. Okay. That's always a scary situation when you're get down there by Rob at 90. Yeah. Oh, is he going to get it this time, though? Nice. Decides to jump away. Knows that he's at a high enough percent. Yeah. So he already missed two of those. That was smart there. I uh, hit the, the bomb over his head, so it fell and still hit his shield. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he doesn't have to worry about Beepoop anymore, but he does have to worry about up throw. Rob with rage. Oh! He almost got slain. Oh! Oh, the revenge. He's like, well, uh, yo, well, I see what you're doing there. I could do it better. Spikes? <laughs> oh, I could do that. Oh my god. He, he legit said I could do it better, man. Great spike there. Yeah, that was great. Oh, Rob. Yeah, and unlike uh, unlike Rob's, like if he missed that, like if he was off stage, he was gone. So yeah. that was great spacing on that. He bet it all. Great job on keeping there. Yeah, so Rob with no rage, he's gonna have a hard time killing here. He has to get like some sort of edge guard or something. The good thing is that uh Brand's the kind of player to go and tilt. Oh, is that people. gonna do it? So that yes, kinda that kinda kill can definitely benefit him a lot. So it doesn't take too much uh, damage. It takes yeah, only 12. All 12%. All 12%. Not bad. Ooh, wow. Rob was, <laughs> Bram was about to go for an empty, empty uh, hop grab right there. Cuban oh. jumps away like immediately. <laughs> nah, I ain't by that life. I love this. I love all these. I love all these item throws. I love how he catches landing with boomerangs as well sometimes. When he doesn't have a bomb, go through that boomerang with Rob landing. Then nope, I'm getting that free damage. Oh, but I hit my both balls at the same time. I just love watching these kind of characters play each other. It's so hilarious to me. I wonder if uh, Crazy Cuban isn't confident in his like, item play with Gyroid. Because he, he could pick that up too. Yeah. Along with bombs. Yeah, I'd rather not worry about it. Yeah, it hasn't really been hurting him too much. So, uh, oh, the Bren had. Okay, he had to use the jump to still land on the platform, though. Yeah. Bren's having to go to the top platform to get some, some, some safe passage for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Cuban's actually, now he's hard, having a hard time. He's like stuck in the air a lot more. Yeah. He caught a lot more Dredos and lasers now than he was earlier. Oh, Ooh. nice roll read. That was excellent. He did it again there. He used the bomb to bait the shield. Exactly. And then he read the roll with the force. Yeah, he was like uh, trying to see what, uh, he was like the whole game he was trying to see what Brand does out of shield. Yeah. With the bomb and he just eventually caught onto the roll. Yeah, he, he, he's been rolling out every time. So he's like, all right, I got you, Sam. I got great, you. Great adjustments. <laughs> By the way, why is Rob in our emote? Because it's Rob and... Oh, I get it. Okay. Yep. Seems logical. Yep. Or is it, oh, well, okay. Great Rob stage here. Yeah, this uh, is really good. Oh, game wasn't my kids Cuban. Oh, only, but here's, here's the combos. The Nothing. only bad thing here is that because of the slants, sometimes your dreidel set up off the ledge can get messed up. So that's the only trade-off Rob has to worry about here. Oh, is that, a, is that really a thing? Yeah, it's really a thing. Huh. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm guessing Brand picks this uh, because he knows that he doesn't have to worry about it. Like he knows how the stage works. So. Yeah. 
mean, it's not something that happens all the time, but it just it can happen. So if you're not you're not mindful of it, I think I work around it. It's a great stage for Rob. Is it uh, platform height is very good. The catch up tilts or up smash. Um, his angles so I can dreidel off the platform very well. So it's wow, very a good. A lot of stage. a lot of shield pressure from Cuban right now. He hit Brand shield like well, with a a flurry of projectiles. <laughs> Keep throwing it. Throw everything. Just throw everything at him, man. Throw the, everything in the kitchen sink. <laughs> oh, misses the grab, though. All right, that's yeah. a nice down throw up there. Get that damage. Oh, look, the actual robot now. Ooh, I like that attempt there. He hit him with a bomb and tried to go for a falling up there. Potentially setting up for a juggle situation. Yeah. Oh, man, using that gyro to extend the combo there. Okay. I love flashy item play. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's basically even, though. Oh, the power shield there. They showed that one, though. Oh, okay. Try to catch him. Uh, maybe an air dodge there. R uh, Brand still had his jump, though. Yeah, I've noticed Brand's jumping a lot more in this game, and because of that, instead of bumping the shield, he has hit his landing a lot. So he did a lot more damage he did from bombs in game one because of that. I bet you he tried to read another air dodge there with that earlier forge match. Doesn't get it, though. Yeah. He's eating a lot of bombs this game compared to game one. So. Okay, Brand's trying to defend himself here. He really doesn't want to get stage spiked or something. Well, up tilt. All right. Up there? Oh. Yeah, too floaty. Okay. He's back safely. And it's fun to see Brand stay on the ground some more. Because he's eating a lot of the bomb damage so far. So. Yeah. Now, Cuban really doesn't want to get grabbed here because up throw can kill him on the platform. All right, Tim's on power driver. Oh, there it is. That's going to do it. Yeah, Ooh. that's the, that is a fact. That's another reason why the stage is good for Rob. Yeah. Earlier up throw kills. 127. Okay. Yeah, Brand's been playing this match pretty well, honestly. Really hasn't been getting hit by any bomb setups. Oh, a trip. Yeah, no bomb setups, but he hit by a lot of bombs themselves. They don't lead to much, but they need a lot of damage from those. As okay. long as Toon Link's not near him when he gets hit by the bomb, like, he can't get a follow-up. That's true. That's not all bad. Yeah, he's been uh, playing a lot more intelligently with his shield. Like, he hasn't been doing the same options. Like, oh, Ooh. excellent combo right there. Falling up air after I'm the bomb. up air, okay. I like that. Yeah, we'll see how Cuban. Oh, wow, oh, what? so much. 48%? That was insane. Holy crap, 58. Lead? What lead? Brought it right back. That was insane. That, there, that has to be a replay right there. That was an insane combo. What lead are you talking about, man? Calm down. That was excellent. Yeah, Calm down, man. I'm, I'm, I'm the hero of time. I got this. All right, but Brand's starting to hit him a lot with the gyro. Yeah, it seems like both characters' uh, success rate of projectiles is much higher on this stage than game one. Oh, but Brand catching that air dodge with that back air. And now Cuban, I think he used his jump. Oh, he's just going to retreat to the ledge. Reset oh, wow. Situation. Very, very risky air dodging to the ground there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like air dodging into the ground is like, it's like a mix up thing. Because like people don't expect you to air dodge into the ground with lag. Yeah, you saw there the slant, uh, Drado fell off the stage. Oh, okay. That's what you were talking about. It happened uh, three times in a row just now. Oh, oh that might do spike. it. Okay, good to yeah. He's going for the spike there, but he got up right out of it. All right, man. Right. Keep it having a really rough time getting back to the center of the stage, but the up smash, that's not going to do it. Good damage, though. Probably right, very careful. Ooh, that's going to be safe on shield because he charged it. Yeah, it's going to be safe on shield. Smart move there to charge it to make sure he can get to himself immediately afterwards. Yeah, he gets the maximum shield stun from it. Keep it going for that roll read again. Now, Toon Link does have the uh, third strongest back, though, so if he catches Brand at the ledge, that can be a potential option. Yeah, Brand's are jumping a lot, though. That's oh, it, though. Right through it. Try to use the bomb there to bomb up air him again, but he's like, nah. Yeah, Brand uh, knows that through. his up air goes right through that. Good win by Brand. He had very good control of the stage. Uh, very strong counter pick use, I gotta say. Like, for, for big and counter pick, like, he used that to a T. Yes, that was actually an excellent play. And I. We I got, sorry. Oh, no, I was saying. I love how I, everyone projectiles hit that game, because. Yeah, that was just a war, dude. <laughs> it's just a war. But we got Dyer and uh, Okami in the chat. Yep. How you guys doing? Tweet out the stream, damn it. Yep. Tweet it out. Share the stream, guys. Yes, the stream is get it, get it out there. pretty good so far. This, Especially this set. This has been pretty good so far. Yeah, I love Item Wars, so I'm having a good time right now. Yeah. Okam Kong main thing to happy. I do want to mention that Okami wasn't able to come out because uh, he he had the time, but he had no ride, which sucks. Rough so. stuff. Yeah, that really yeah, sucks. Ford is the wrong state to be carless. Yeah, he is our PR, on our PR right now, so would have been nice. So game three. Did you say not bad? <laughs> I swear, man. So I'm curious to see where you take a projectile character as a projectile character. Like, usually you take someone to FD. But oh, it looks like that's going to happen. Taking them to FD on going to FD? supersonic style. 
Oh my god, this FD? Oh wow. man. Come on, man. man I'm, uh, like, this song is a guilty pleasure of mine, but I wouldn't say I like it. Sonic Heroes, man. Heroes is a decent game. It's a decent game, man. I play from time to time. So it's funny, like, projectile characters, I'm taking characters to FD to outcamp them, but they're both projectile characters, so. I don't know, who would you say have the superior camping game? I, I would think that Rob would have better camping game on the stage. And it depends on the, their placement. Um, mid range, Ooh. I'd say Toon Link, but well, uh, cross stage, I'd say Rob. That was a nice roll read by Cuban. Oh, this damage right here. I like uh, that bomb use. Has the bomb in his hand, uses it right on him to pop him up to sort of combo. Yeah, Cuban plays really patient. He doesn't really try to go for frame traps. He kind of just waits for a reaction from his opponent. Yeah, but he has the previous Jigs main, so you know he learned patience. So. Yeah, he definitely. You need that when you're maining characters like this. Yeah. Yeah, Brand a little more antsy here with his aerials this game, I've noticed. Ooh, nice double jump read right there. That was excellent. Oh, oh tries to go for the neutral. Uh, he's trying to cover a low recovery there. Yeah, I said earlier that Brand's one of the players to go and tilt the easiest. And he's going to turn out a lot of aerial attacks this game. Like, he's a, sort of abandoned his projectile game right now. I'm not sure if he's on tilt. He just feels it'll be better for him, but... Yeah. Cuban really hasn't gotten hit by that many things, too. Although, now I'm saying that he's going to get hit by Chai <laughs> oh. his own bomb, too. Of course. Oh, great head with the bomb. That barely whiffed. Yeah, he's jumping a lot like he was yeah, he just, just He doesn't want to get anti-air up smash or <laughs> He's just really not trying not to get hit by an up air. Oh, I like that attempt right there from Cuban. Ooh, that oh, was excellent, man. Cuban's bomb setups are so legit. Pretty good. That's it. Ren is jumping a lot. So he's getting yeah, he's catching, he's catching on to them. Yeah. Great bomb he's like keeping so far though. All right. Uh, this is still this is still definitely doable for Brain. He could get a, like a down throw up air. Oh, smart bomb throw. He's above, above the arms that reflect, so it's still hit him. Yeah, but Cuban is just literally just sitting back at this point because like for characters like this, like why would you approach? Like yeah, I'm too like hitting me. <laughs> I got a bomb for days. He's just going to keep throwing bombs. Brand has to approach eventually. And you see, he, started, he tried to dash in there. Got punished. Yeah. Oh. Nice air dodge read, though. Good read there by Brand with the, with the back air. Uh, being a slow startup actually helped him out. Uh, beat out the air Yeah, dodge. that's one of the things, man, about slow startup moves. Like, DDD's F special is like the perfect example of that. Like you try to spot dodge on reaction. Like, oh, no, I forgot his Nope. You get uh. hit by it. Ooh, oh, but good combo oh, right there. Okay. 37%. Slowly bringing this back. There, another down throw up there. And yeah, it looks like Cuban's uh, falling into Rob a lot more this stock. Like, he's not resetting neutral enough. He's trying to hit him on the way down a lot. Oh, I like that. was actually a good roll right there by Brand. Yeah. Avoid that uh, forward air completely. Oh, double bomb. Rob the. Oh, oh another falling up And oh, man, Brand not dealing that. I don't think he get hit by that. No that was, DI at all. Yeah, straight he, up. he went straight up, yeah. Good stuff to Crazy Cuban, though. Strong, strong bomb play. I, I, I like it. I really like seeing this character. This character is really interesting, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 